Tomato. Tomato. Trousers. Pants. Trousers. <laughs> Welcome to the GCN show. Coming up this week, race roundups from Qatar and Spain, plus the Cyclocross Super Prestige Series wraps up in Middelkerke, Belgium. Yeah, and we've also got our regular features, which this week include tweet, caption, and comment of the week. Where's Cy? I don't know. I'm... We're here on what's possibly going to be the most decisive climb at the Ruta del Sol. This is going to be Chris Froome's first out of the year and we're expecting fireworks right here. Now there's not many spectators here just yet, but we're expecting the crowds to be here in force. Fair enough, but the race doesn't even start until Wednesday. You're, you're early. We wanted to make sure we were here. We didn't miss it. <laughs> <Spain>. <laughs> <laughs> what are we going to do until Thursday? Uh, you might have noticed that Sai isn't with us this week. He, he has been banned for breaking a key GCN rule, introduced actually on last week's show. More on that later. We had no choice at all, but how are we going to do the show on our own? Two of, I don't know if it's going to work with two of us. Hell? Hey fellas. Whoa, that's not Simon. I think that's, that's Neil Rogers from Velo News. It's a real what are you deal. Doing here? Socks, jeans, slightly creased t-shirt. It <laughs> looks like it could be our fifth presenter on GCN representing the States. That's right. A little cameo here in the UK, otherwise I'll be uh, GCN North America. Cool. Well, welcome oh, to the cool. channel. Thanks, sir. Do you want a bit of GCN show with us? First having a go? Absolutely. Let's give it a go. <laughs> 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 oh! <laughs> The Tour of Qatar wrapped up Friday in the capital city of Doha after several chaotic windswept stages and Katusha's Alexander Kristoff was within striking distance of Nikki Terpstra even after losing 44 seconds in the individual time trial on the strength of his three of five road wins. Yes, yeah, starting the final stage 11 seconds down, he managed to take a two second time bonus at one of the intermediate sprints, meaning he had to win the final stage to have a chance of winning the GC. Could he do it? Well. The answer was no. A flying Irishman in the form of San Bennett took the stage at Aguadini and Nasser Buhani, giving Bora Argon 18 their first victory of the year. So a relieved Nicky Terps to taking his second consecutive overall win in Qatar. An ominous warning in fact for his classics rivals as he builds up towards the defence of that Paris-Roubaix title which he took last year in 2014. Now interestingly if we look at the results of Peter Sagan, he had two second places and three fourth places on the four, five road stages which is exactly the same results that he had in the first five stages of last year's Tour de France. And actually if you look back through his results he hasn't had a win since his national championships all the way back in June of 2014, which is his longest drought in terms of victory since 2010. Well, we're, we're talking about Pete's drought. How many wins do you reckon this year, Neil? Ah, it's tough to say. It's been a while. I'll go with six. Four. Six. Thirty-nine. Interesting prediction. Mm, very interesting, Si. Right, it's time for caption competition. Now, last week we gave you this picture of John Dagenkolb and Mark Cavendish at the hilltop finish in the Dubai Tour. And our winner is Clifford McWilliams, who said, caption, is that Tom Last in the background or just part of the mountain? Good one. Well done, get in touch, and we shall send you a GCN cap in the post. Now, this week's caption picture is of Mattia van der Poel. Now, how about this for starting you off? Hole. Vanderhall. <laughs> it's on fire. So he just got here. <laughs> I'm not missing Sai at all. <laughs> it's alright, isn't it? Meanwhile, back in Europe, two one-day races took place at the weekend. And on Saturday, a really strong attack from Ryan Tarame saw him solo to victory at the Welsh Sea Clister and Mercia. He managed to hold off Balka Molima and Zdenek Stabar. And that was in fact his first race for Team Astana. Yeah, in the following days, Classica de Almeria had a parkour far more suited to the sprinters. And it was Etik's quick step who took things up from kilometre one to perfectly deliver Mark Cavendish to his fifth win of the season. And the lead out was that good that his top man, wingman, Mark Renshaw, also ended up on the podium in third. There's a fantastic week of racing coming up ahead. You've got the Tour of Oman with uh, Nibali, Rodriguez, Valverde and Van Garderen battling it out. 
You've got uh, world road champion Mikhail Kwiatkowski defending his title at the Volta Algarve. And arguably, the big head-to-head -head battle will be with Chris Froome and Alberto Contador at Ruta del Sol. And what do you think about that battle, fellas? It's certainly going to be an exciting week of racing. But like you say, Froome, Contador, head-to-head -head is going to be something special. It's just a shame Noah Quintana was injured at the National Road Champs uh, a week ago. Otherwise, it would have been a, a three-up. But I don't know. You know, Contador has now, you know, categorically stated he's going to go for the Giro Tour double and has stated that he might actually start the season a little bit more steadily. But we'll see because for, for either one of the riders' morale, it's important to get one up on the other. <laughs> oh, this man. is not professional. You are not professional. You need training more. I was a professional 10 years ago. <sighs> I, that's going to be interesting, but I think it's going to be very close. It's an 8K time trial, two mountain top finishes, so. Could be good. I think it's great that it always gets us talking, you know, when you see Consdor and Froome go up together, you just can't wait to see the battle. I got a bottle, I don't know how I'm supposed to drink anything from that. Come on Dan, stop whinging. But we can't really forget that some other big name riders are going to be there too. Some young riders including Kelderman, yep. we've also got Molimo who's already proven that he's on some pretty good form already this season. But if I had to put my money on anybody, it would be Chris Froome because, I'm not sure if you both saw it, but I saw an Instagram post from him a few days ago and he's really been working on his leg speed over the winter. <laughs> to announce the winners of the Mark Cavendish signed cap and jersey. Now, you had to answer a question which was, how many stage races has Mark Cavendish won overall over the course of his career? And the answer was three. Those being the Dubai Tour, the Tour of Qatar, and of course the Stir Electro Tour, which was his first ever stage race overall. So well done to all of you who got the answer correct. We can only have two winners, and they're about to be announced now. Drum roll, please. The winner of the cap, Technically second place, James Graham. Well done, Graham. And uh, the James. winner. Uh, well done, James. <laughs> well done. <laughs> well done. Well done. <laughs> and anyway, anyway, the winner of Cavendish signed jersey. This one. You can see it signed there. Well done to Alexandre Deschamps. Get in touch with us, and we shall be sending them to you in the post very soon. I don't know where my entry. I got the answer right as well, you know. And I'm a little bit you made the question. that we couldn't enter. I mean, this just—it's just so nice. Well, I think you put your own scent on it anyway. So. And I think James should know that I did shampoo this morning. So that's good stuff. Clean. Good to know. Yeah. On Sunday, World Cup champion Kevin Powles took victory in the final round of the Super Prestige Series in Middelkerke, Belgium. Second place on the day went to world champion Matthew van der Poel, who took the overall series from Powell's, making him the youngest rider ever to do so. With Powell's in the series lead, VDP needed at least a second place on the day, which he did. Third on the day went to young phenom Wout van Aert. Whilst in the women's race, it was the phenomenon that is Sally Kant, who took her in an incredible 22nd victory of the season. Now she was away early on with British champion Helen Wyman but dropped her in the closing stages to win alone. Now Helen Hat Wyman did hang on for second place whilst closely following in third place was young 18 year old Femke van der Dreyscher. Now before we finish completely with Simon Cross it's worth mentioning this little video which I saw a couple of days ago. It seems that Kevin Powell's talents don't just finish with the world of cyclocross. He's also an amazing gangster rapper. Check this out. Something about the streets. If I could have picked any rider from the Cyclocross series to do a rap video, I don't know if KP would have been the one. No, but it's just his name. KP. Who would have been the one? He wouldn't have been the one. Oh, who would have been the one? I gotta go American. I gotta go Jeremy Powers. While we're on the subject of rapping, Dan's got a pretty cool marginal pain. Uh, yeah, that's right, Matt. My turn on marginal pains this week, and it is 40 something dads trying to look cool. 
No, honestly, I've got a marginal pain to discuss with you this week, and it is empty bars, wrappers, and gels discarded on the side of the road. It's just horrible to see. Especially bad, actually, if you go to a road the day after a race, or a long spore teeth, and there's just rubbish everywhere. There's really no excuse for it. I would admit that in the past, I did do it myself in certain races, but we've all been educated since. You can just put it in your back pocket, go to the green zone in the race, go to the bins when you're out on your ride or when you get home, or the bins on the spore teeth, and then we're gonna save the environment. They just look better. Stop the clock. It was a good one, that, wasn't it? Yeah. But mine are worth listening to all the way through. It was. The difference. Well, hashtag, take it home. Mm. And speaking of hashtags, last week's hashtag, say hi on your ride, ties right into the comment of the week and the reason why Simon is not here. Yeah. We had a comment here from Joe Pussy, says, I saw Simon on his commute last week going the other way, didn't get away from him. He was giving it some welly though, so I'll let him off this time. A face like an oncoming storm. Mm. He, he tried get... to hide it from us, but the comments tell the story. It's not an excuse being in the zone. You could just raise your hand or just a, a glimmer on your face, just a smile. It doesn't take much, folks. Yeah. Say hi on your ride. Even you, Sai. Yeah. And hashtag take it home. You've let yourself down, you've let the team down. Have a think. <laughs> I'd laugh at that. Laz, we're on the subjects of, of comment of the week. My old, my old mate Domestique mistake has been on it, at it again. He's all over the place. I mean, look yeah. at this one. Yeah, this is under uh, Lasty's uh, video, um, off the back. The Tom, brick. yeah, Tom is my favourite. Mate of mine. I'm going um, off this, Dom. Socks are so very important to get correct for the morale. D.E. Can you, who, is, who is this domestique? I've talked about him in the last couple of I mean, he's an old, old mate of mine who was in my old cycling team back in, back in the early 90s and famously finished second from last in the Tour de France. And he's just back on the scene. He's all over it. He just loves it. And he, he loves GCN. To the point, in fact, we're going to give him a bit of a lift this week. You can ask, ask domestique anything you want via the medium of Twitter. Now, hashtag, it's not a hashtag. Well, it's hashtag ask Dom, but his Twitter is at Dom underscore Estique. GCN. Hopefully that's across the front here as well. But between 17, 1900 hours, sorry, and 2000 hours, GMT, he'll be asking, answering questions from anybody on, who wants to sort of pitch in really. So that should be quite interesting. Between 1900 and 2000 hours? On Wednesday, GMT, GMT. asked Dom. It could be in for a treat. On the channel this week, on Wednesday, it's what and how to carry the essentials on your bike. So how, do I hear you ask, are we going to fit all of this into our pockets? The answer, we're not. Nope, packaging all of this into your jersey will see your pockets bulging and kit flying off left, right and centre. On Thursday, it's our top 10 ways to prevent a sore ass. Now, now choice one is to get a cushion, reasonably sized, and strap it using whatever method you have to hand to your mate's posterior, or indeed your own. That should work a treat. So, uh, from riding your bike? Oh, from riding your bike, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, okay, on Friday... Colder Madon has long been a testing ground for top professional riders who base themselves down in Nice or Monaco right through from Tony Romiger, all the way up to the current unofficial record holder, Chris Froome. Dean, and on Saturday, we're going to take a close look at Philippe Gilbert's Team BMC bike. On Sunday, off the back, I look through the GCN archives, some of your favorite videos, and on Monday, how to service your pedals. You need to service your pedals when you lose that and they start spinning freely, because that means that the pedal is likely to be dry and there'll be no grease in it. Tuesday? I always forget, Dan, I haven't got a clue, mate. It... I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll get in touch. Now it's time for Tweet of the Week. I think this might actually be Tweet of the Year or even the Millennium. This is from Steph with three Lego Legos characters of your GCM presenters. What do you think, fellas? What do you think of the likeness? It's pretty good. It's my ankles are a bit big, but apart from that... Yeah, a bit more definition in my leg because I've been working out a bit recently, but otherwise, pretty much spot on. Um, so much so that it's now your Facebook avatar and my Twitter avatar. Yeah, yeah. That's how chuffed we were. Really but like that tweet. Perhaps, Steph. Yeah, we need to add someone else in new now. New GCM presenter and, and the new, brick as well. New Lego character, please. Pink shirt, no doubt. There's been something lacking over the last couple of weeks huh. in this show. Singing. 
It's debatable. It's time for Extreme Corner. Parking lot. No, car park. Lorry? Truck. No, lorry. Lorry. Yeah, that's it. Uh, motorway. Freeway. Tap. Mm. Faucet. How do you say Majka? Maika. No, Majka. 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 Tour de France. Tour de France. That's it. Oh, he's getting there. Lift. Elevator. Tomato. Tomato. Potato. Boss. Potato. This is really important. Boss. Boss. That's it. Ah, oh, no boss. There you go, it's going to be interesting, isn't it? Anyway, if you want to see a very okay video with Peter Sagan and How to Wheelie, click up here. And if you'd like to see a video I did from the Amgen Tour of California last year, click down here. And if you're not already a subscriber to the channel, it's absolutely free. Just click on any one of us. Tomato. Tomato. Trousers. Pants. Trousers. <laughs> <laughs>